And now, the following tag team contest is scheduled for one Losing first, on the way to the ring, representing Ultimate Yandere, Yuno Kasai, and Junko Enishima. We know about you know. Everybody knows about you know, and Junko is like loving. She is the star of Junko's Playhouse, a weird segment she insisted on doing here in in the Underground Network. <laughs> well, what better to oblige? And here are more Yandere's coming at and you. And now, from oh, Japan, Japan, Kotonoha Katsura, and Ryoko and Asakura, Japan, Fatal Attraction. We got a whole bunch of yandere's in this building I say it's gonna be a bloodbath but but that's just taking it lightly now this is gonna be one big barn burner for sure Vegeta and present Mike So let's get the show on the road. Coming up after this match. Spike Spiegel and Vicious will somewhat be in action. It's a kind of a pick your poison match. If Spike's team of Shoma Namimoto and... And Davis, the prodigies, win. Spike gets to choose the stipulation for his match against Vicious at Anything Goes. But if Vicious's mystery team somehow wins, he gets to set the stipulation at Anything Goes. This, at uh, this, and... And Ryoko, Asakura, and Yuno Kasai kick us off. My legendary rivalries with Kakarot, both in ACW and in the anime, are legendary in itself. But none is as legendary as Spike vs. Vicious. And there is also another rivalry that ended in ACW, uh, Ryoko versus Ayaka. During the during the invasion during the JSA invasion. Yeah, right now Ayaka and Videl are part of the Dragon Escape promotions? Is that right? As part of the Royal Court now. Trying to trying to get rid of that stigmata. So no one will call them out as members of the JSA again. I'm sure Nabiki will hate. I'm sure Nabiki will benefit from that. Well meantime. Junko is having a lot of fun with Ryoko there. And Kotonoha with Yuno. And Ryoko's in the ring. Well, now the ring. Now Kotonoha wants back in. There goes Junko. What's Junko? Oh! Junko! 
Tuco just laid out Kotonoha. Meanwhile, Ryoko and Yuno are fighting outside. Then we ask the referee to not count now because of the quick victory of the Justice Friends there. As well as the next tag team match as well. Ooh, and Kotonoha chops Yuno in the tacos. We're trying to keep it PG-13, at least PG-13. Snap! Right on. That's a despair. Yeah. Two goes charging up again. And what's you know what you know oh no you know don't you know don't Oh, you know what we... Junko got her in there? Oh! Snap! Dragon DDT! The referee's gonna try and have to restore order to these people here. But I don't think any much one of them cares. A code red from Junko. You know. A old wishbone by Ryoko Asakura and Kotonoha adds to the pain. Sweeps Ryoko's leg and Junko snap! Oh, you know, cracks Ryoko's neck. You know's back in. And you know's back out. Ryoko's back in, now Ryoko's back out. This is gonna take a lot time here. I could have, time I could have spent in the hyperbolic time chamber. Well, finally, Ryoko and, and, and Yuno are back in. Now Yuno's got Ryoko up. For the most overly used move in all of virtual wrestling, the superplex. But can you know capitalize on all of that chaos? Well, you know, tried something, but it didn't work. And snap! Right on the Ryoko Asakura. But you know is winded. Ooh, what a nice Yuranagi by Ryoko Asakura. And now she's putting a choke hold to you know. She tags in Kotonoha for the and you know, tag Junko in. And here we go again, everyone. 
Kota no Han and Jinko are fighting. Watch out! You know, no! She almost missed that chair. She missed the chair shot. We, we asked the referee to calm down on the count out because of this, but not on disqualification. And you know, connected. All of it yandere would have been disqualified. It's hard to tell four psycho girls to keep their emotions in check. Oh! Looks like anything goes here. Disqualified! Oh, you know! We told you this would happen, you know. While we try to restore order here, we'll be right back. 